I'm going to go through the steps on how to change a double switch. We have a single pole switch and also a three-way switch. So the first thing we want to make sure is that the electric's off. So I'm going to use a non-contact voltage tester and we can see we have electric here. Now I'll go shut off the electric to the circuit. So I shut off the electric to the circuit and I'm just double checking. So now we know that there's no electricity here. We're going to replace these two switches and right away I see that there's a problem. They used a wood screw to connect it to the box so we'll make sure we change that to the correct screws and in the three-way switch it's important that we isolate the wire that is going to the dark screw so on a three-way switch you have two switches that operate one light and you need to find the wire going to the dark screw so every manufacturer is a little different in this case we have the dark screw down here we have a light screw on top and a light screw on top on the other side. So I know that this is the common wire. So I'm going to take a little piece of masking tape and we'll mark this wire. So now that I've marked the common wire, I'm just going to unscrew the wires from the old switch and then we'll connect the new switch. It's very easy to connect the new three-way switch and we have the wire marked for the dark colored screw our common and I'm going to have the hook in a clockwise direction so that it tightens down on the screw terminal if we were to connect that in a counterclockwise direction it could actually push it off so we connect this wire to this screw and now the other two wires are our travelers and these wires go to the other three-way switch and it doesn't matter which screw terminal you put it on just connect them and make sure you hook it in a clockwise direction and that's all there is to it to connect the new three-way switch so now we're going to replace the single pole switch and this is very easy if you have one switch that goes to your lights you have a single pole switch and a single pole switch is going to be marked with on and off on the lever where a three-way switch doesn't have any markings at all so in a single pole switch it's very easy we're just going to unscrew the ter screw terminals and connect the new single pole switch and it doesn't matter which wire we put on which screw terminal so to connect the new single pole switch we're going to make sure that our on and off is correct so this is a top and a bottom and again it doesn't matter which screw terminal we connect in this situation we actually have a wire that's stripped in the center and this is the way the electrician originally did it so we're going to leave this the same way you would never want to put two individual wires on one screw terminal but in this case you really have just one wire wrapped here so it doesn't matter which screw terminal we choose again I'm going to make sure that this is wrapped in a clockwise direction the hook and I'm just going to put it onto the top screw terminal and then the bottom one we're going to wrap around the wire here and just squeeze that so that it's completely in contact with the screw terminal and tighten it down and that's all there is to it so very simple to connect a double switch a single pole switch and a three-way switch